Hello friends, this is the third video on computer system validation. In the previous two video, I have already discussed about GAM5 guideline, category of the software as per GAM5 guideline and typical approach of software validation as per the GAM5 guideline. To watch the both video, link is available in the description box. Today I will discuss how to do computer system validation using the classic V diagram. The classic V diagram is one type of methodology using the validation project. The classical V diagram was popularized by industrial organizations such as ISP via GAM guidelines. This is the picture of V diagram. Validation activity follows the diagram beginning at the top left that is the planning. Proceeding down the V shape to system build and then back to the top right ending at reporting. Let break down each part a little bit further starting with planning. First is the validation plan that is the planning. The validation plan defines what will be validated and the approach we will use. It also defines roles and responsibility along with the most important part that is the acceptance criteria. Next is the user requirement specification that is URS. The URS describes what the user needs from the software and how they will use it. It also contains any critical control such as regulation, safety requirement, operation requirement etc. For example, here a list of a few user requirements that might be needed for a lab system. Like system must track training the lab system on lab method or techniques. System must track sample coming into the lab. System must automatically assign the lab analyst to sample based on the availability and the training. System must send sample testing pass or fail outcome to the ERP system or the SAP system. System must be comply as per the 21 CFR part 11. Next is the functional specification that is the FS. The functional specification document describe how the software needs to work and look the meets the user needs. The document might include description of how specific screen and report should look and describe data that needs to be captured. The functional requirement can also be include logical and the calculation along with how it will comply with regulatory requirements. For example, 21 part 11 compliance requirement might details how password and the audit tile should work. Next is the design specification, means DS. The design specification documents is one of the contains all of the technical elements of software or system. This includes database design like file structure, data flow diagram, entity relationship diagrams, logic and the process design pseudo code for logic and the calculation security design means the virus protection and the hacker protection interference design means what data will move from one system to the another system architecture design means required hardware software system application version and the middleware etc specific peripheral device like scanner printer etc now the system build in the system build step, you develop or purchase your software and then configure it to previous specification document. This step includes unit testing and integration testing. Next is the installation qualification means IQ test. Installation qualification test provides confirmation that the software or system is installed and set up according to the design specification. Usually, the software is first installed and a test or validation environment, but there can be expectation in situations such as manufacturing. Next is the operation qualification that is the OQ test. Operation qualification is often referred as functional testing or system testing. OQ test confirms that all functionality defined in the functional specification is present and working correctly and that there are no bugs. OQ test can be also include confirmation by any design elements not tested during the IQ such as configuration are working as specified. Next is the performance qualification that is the PQ test. Performance qualification testing is often called as the user acceptance testing. 
Piku testing confirms that the software will meet the user needs and it's suitable for the intended use as defined as the user requirement specification. Testing can follow use cases, SOP, user defined scenarios, etc. For simple software like a report for spreadsheet, OQ and PQ testing can be often combined. And the last one is the reporting. The last step of this validation method is to write the validation report, often called the validation summary report or system certification. This report provides confirmation that all activities specified in the validation master plan have been completed. Validation report summarizes the testing result and provides confirmation that all the acceptance criteria have been met and the software is ready for development. Now I am recapping the key points of V diagram. If you see the pictures of V diagram, IQ confirms the design specification, OQ confirms the personal specification, PQ confirms the user requirement specification and the reporting confirms the validation plan. Now I think you understand about the V diagram. If you have any doubts regarding the computer system validation, you can comment me, you can ask me, I will definitely reply you. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe my channel with hit the bell icon. Thank you.